Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome history enthusiasts to another exciting episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm your host Chuck, and with me is my co-host Marco. Hi everyone. Today we have a riveting episode in store for you as we delve into the gritty details of the Battle of Aya Drang, one of the seminal battles of the Vietnam War. Indeed Marco. We're going to be discussing the planning, the objectives, the events, the leadership, the casualties and some heroic figures that emerged from this battle. And to make it even more engaging, we have a special guest with us today named CJ, a Vietnam War historian. Welcome CJ. Thanks Chuck, and hello Marco. It's great to be here. So, to set the scene, before the Battle of Aya Drang, the Vietnam War had already been raging for several years. The conflict saw the communist North Vietnamese forces pitted against the South Vietnamese and their allies, primarily the United States. That's right Chuck. By 1965, the United States had committed ground troops to Vietnam to prevent the fall of South Vietnam to communism. The stakes were high, and the escalation of American involvement was palpable. Exactly. The Battle of Aya Drang was significant because it was the first major battle between the U.S. Army and the People's Army of Vietnam, PAVN. This battle showcased the clash of tactics and the harsh realities of jungle warfare. Now on to the planning. The U.S. operation was dubbed Operation Silver Bayonet. It was conceived by then Major General Harry W. O. Kennard. The idea was to engage and destroy the enemy in Central Highlands. And to accomplish this, the 1st Cavalry Division, specifically the 1st and 2nd Battalions, were deployed. They were air mobile units, which means they could rapidly deploy via helicopters. A revolutionary concept at the time. Their objectives were to locate the PAVN and engage them, while relying on air mobility and artillery support. The battle unfolded over several days from November 14 to November 18, 1965. On the first day, U.S. forces landed at LZ X-Ray near Aya Drang Valley and engaged with PAVN forces almost immediately. As the days rolled on, the fighting intensified. At one point, the North Vietnamese nearly overran the American positions. It was an absolute meat grinder. Yet amidst this chaos, there were stories of valor. Lieutenant Colonel Hal Moore's and Sergeant Major Basil Plumley's leadership on the ground was remarkable. Their actions saved countless lives during the dire circumstances of those days. Let's pause for a moment for a quick break. When we come back, we will discuss the tactics, casualties, and the broader implications of this battle on the Vietnam War. Wave goodbye to sugar-loaded boosts and say hello to Strike Force Energy. The energy drink additive revolutionizing how you power up, all without a single calorie or sugar. Just a squeeze, and you're set for action. Ready to make the switch? Visit StrikeForceEnergy.com And for our listeners, spark your savings with an exclusive 20% discount. Just use code UTSALAX24 at checkout. Remember, UTSALAX24. Strike Force Energy, elevate every sip. Welcome back. So, the tactics used in this battle were quite distinct. The U.S. relied heavily on artillery and air support, while the North Vietnamese used their knowledge of the terrain to their advantage. The casualties were grim. The U.S. suffered 305 killed and 524 wounded. PAVN casualties were estimated to be between 1,200 to 1,450. Those numbers paint a harsh reality of the ferocity of this battle. In a broader sense Aya Drang highlighted the ferocious nature of the Vietnam conflict. It also underscored the U.S.'s reliance on air mobility and firepower. The battle did shape the U.S.'s tactics moving forward, but it also emboldened the North Vietnamese who saw that they could stand up to American firepower. That's a good point CJ. This battle was indeed a precursor to the long, drawn-out struggle that continued for a decade. It's been an enlightening discussion. Thank you CJ, for being here and sharing your insights. Thank you Chuck and Marco. It was my pleasure. And to our listeners, Thank you for joining us today on the History AI Podcast. Tune in next time as we unravel more captivating events from the past. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, we would greatly appreciate if you could rate us on your podcast platform of choice. 
Absolutely, and don't forget to like and share this episode with your friends, family, or anyone who's a history buff. Your support means a lot to us and helps keep this podcast going. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Until our next journey into the annals of history, stay curious.